Hi everyone, Nancy here with the SCT Delivered Kit for Fall. So I just got my kit and I printed out two pictures that I thought would go really well with the colors and the theme. And these are pumpkin patch photos from last year. So I've cut these down. They're at about three and a half by three and a half. Square pictures are some of my favorite uh, shapes to work with because I like how linear they are and they take up just enough space where the pictures don't get lost. But yet I still have a lot of room to decorate and embellish and all those things that I love. So um, you can even, if you have four by six pictures, just creatively crop them into three and a half by three and a half. You don't necessarily have to get them printed out at this size. Okay, let's take a look at the pattern paper. And this is where I often start with, with kits. Paper first. So, and I usually will separate into two piles. Going to use now with these photos, these are the serious contenders, and then another pile that is for later. So I love this flower print, love the colors. See, the same kind of colors are my pictures, navy blue and the pumpkin and the grass and the same feel too. Sometimes the colors don't match, but if the feel matches, you're good. Okay, the pumpkins might be a little too themey for me, although I do like these for pumpkin carving pictures or um, we go to a pumpkin carving contest every year. Love that, like this paper and a pretty plaid, so that's really nice too. Okay, so we have a night starry sky, which I like, and a blue, but this one will be for later because this doesn't really go very well. Another solid blue with a stripe. Those will be for later. I love this one. Definitely want to use that. We have a nice map with the green. I'll use that with these blue tones. And the camper with some plaid, love that. I have camping photos for that. This green, I like how it matches the green leaves in this. So this is a nice solid um, print to sort of set off this very colorful print. But I like the leaves too. It's gonna be either the leaves or the flowers. And I like tiny prints. Mixing large prints and tiny prints is always um, a really good design tip. Okay, so those are my patterns. So I think we're gonna stick with this selection right here. We're gonna put these away for later. And then I also have my solids. So I love this lumberjack plaid. I'm probably gonna base the entire layout on this. Love the neutral, um, but so nice that it's not just a solid weight, which I use all the time. Okay, let's take a look at the embellishments and I'll probably use a bit of every single thing. I, my favorite embellishment in here, and I think my jumping point or my spark for an idea for this page is going to come from this like, little leaf garland. And I think I'm going to extend this across my page in some way. I love this. And wooden buttons are another favorite. Those will definitely make it to the page. Love these little epoxy leaves. All kinds of really nice pieces in here. And then I separated out some more die cuts and definitely will end up using that clip. And then the other two parts, I always like to add a little bit of stamping, so I really love that these come in the kit and we'll use some of this text in here. Although this go is perfect with the camping papers, I probably will use that um, with those papers. And these, I wasn't too crazy about these when I saw a picture of them online, but now that I have them in person, I love that they, they're almost copper in feel. They're a very warm gold color. I think they're supposed to be gold foil, but they really look copper in person. And so this copper with the wood and the flowers, beautiful. Definitely will be using these. All right, let me go um, work some of the cut files. I'm going to cut out at least one leaf and then I will show you my process. Okay, so I had a general idea here um, about how this page was going to turn out. So I went ahead and printed out on my wide format printer the journaling. I knew I was going to create a shelf up at the top with this wood paper. And so that's the first piece of paper I cut out. And that's going to ground my two photos. And I love that wood green. So I think the photos look really good on it. And now I'm going to start creating layers for that shelf. And so we're going to add a little pop of this nice olive green just behind. And then that gives us a little bit color of color to sort of break up that white background and then that very pale wood. Now here's the flower paper that I loved and I really wanted to use it. 
But when I was going to use a small thin strip, you couldn't really tell that there were flowers. And so because the um, leaves were a smaller print, you could still see like leaves peeking out. And I thought it went better with some of the embellishments I was going to use. So that's why I changed my mind about that flower paper that I so still love. So here I am still creating that nice shelf that's going to hold my photos up at the top and adding more layers. And now here is where I'm gonna use that tiny print right next to that large leaf print. We're just gonna tuck that just underneath there. And I wanna leave some room for a title there. So that's why you see me shifting it quite a few times. Now that was my focal embellishment was that um, leaf spray that I love so much. So I'm going to place it right in the center of those photos. It ties the photos together and it's sort of the first place that um, your eye follows when you look at this layout. Now that leaf is from the cut file that came with the kits and I cut it out of the white cardstock. And now to sign up, sort of ground it and also to add some bit of color, I'm using some Heidi Swap color shine in a nice bright yellow color. I do it with a paintbrush because I feel I have more control with the paintbrush than using just the applicator that it comes with. Okay, I've given that some time to dry. I know you didn't see that in the video, but I did. I probably left it at about 10 minutes. You could also blot it with some tissue paper also. Um, here I am placing the die cut that um, comes with the kit. I'm sorry, not the die cut, it's a cut file. And I made it into my very own die cut. Back to the center, I'm going to build that garland. And all I did was add two beautiful leaf die cuts to the ends, tuck them underneath, and that was enough. It covers enough across the page that really highlights the photos and it gives it a nice bright pop of color right in the center. Next part is my title and I'm using the gold thickers, which I have just learned, unfortunately, weren't able to be sourced for this kit, so they are gonna be substituted. I really apologize for that, but I'm sure that SCT will come out with a beautiful alternative that you can use. Now, as you saw, I did use a ruler just to keep it really nice and straight, although you can use this paper also. Now, to create the cascade, I zoomed in a little bit here, and I'm going to show you how I add a little texture in the center with a wooden button. And now just a nice free falling cascade of the epoxy leaves. And so that connects that center piece, that center leaves to that big leaf die cut. So the eye follows the color all the way around, right to the bottom left hand corner. Last touch, um, at least for the photo, is that paper clip. And here, let's do some stamping. I just rub my stamp just to condition it a little bit. Um, and that gives me a nice smooth imprint. And that finishes off my page. It's really simple. It's my nice design shelf that I reach for that design layout again and again. Um, and always the date. I always stamp the date on the layouts. Here I went with a nice olive green color and right on the leaf for a little bit of texture. I'm going to glue down that leaf a little bit better with my fine line glue. And there we go. And then you can see that detail a little bit better there. I hope you enjoy the fall SCT delivered kit as much as I did. Thanks so much for joining me.